So once you understand what your overpromise is, you've done your research and you know who you're going to be, and then you start to align your over over delivery around those uh, touch points, you need to be thinking about who you hire. And you need to hire to your brand, hire to who you really are. So if you look at Southwest, Southwest Airlines hires people who love people. Okay? And that's LUV because that's where they started, Love Field. When they recruit, what they do is they have a series of tests that, that identify those people who love talking to other people, who can't stand to be in a room with other people without engaging them, who really want to connect with other human beings. Now that is really important if you're going to spend all day meeting strangers in a you know, long silver tube that's five miles in the sky, right? That kind of personality is critically important. Now let's contrast that with Microsoft, who hires super smart problem solvers. The first test you get when you apply at Microsoft exceeds 100 pages. It asks questions like, why are manhole covers round? That's an easy one. Okay. If you were sitting in front of a bowl of three different colors of M&Ms and you were blindfolded, how many M&Ms would you have to pull from the bowl in order to be 100% certain that you had one of each color sitting in front of you? How many piano tuners are there in the world? Show your calculations. And if you had to move Mount Fuji, what resources would you require? How long would it take? And what would your methodology be? A hundred pages of that. Okay, so what do they get? They're hiring super smart problem solvers, people who love a hundred pages of problems and thinks that's exciting. Now here's what I want you to think about. Imagine that for one year we swapped all the Microsoft and Southwest employees. Can you see how those two companies would be a disaster? So you don't just hire for skill or expertise or history or the fact that you like the person. You really need to think about what does my brand represent and does this person align with that brand? Will they amplify my brand or will they damage my brand? Now, first impressions are absolutely critical. When you go out to give an estimate, absolutely critical. And I believe that prescription before diagnosis is malpractice. And just to demonstrate that, I'm going to ask Sean to come out here for a minute. And let's just imagine that I'm a doctor and Sean is really, really sick. Well, <laughs> see, that doesn't take much imagination at all. Right. Okay, so I walk in and I say, hi, hi. Dr. Barrera. Uh, you're nice sick? You. Yes, I am. Not feeling well? That is correct. Yeah, that's what the nurse told me. So here's what I'd like you to do. Okay. okay just, uh, just go ahead, take those, and uh, feel better. Okay? Hmm. Uh, I'll take those. So let me ask yeah, you a question. I don't want these. Let me ask you a question. How much confidence do you think he has in me as a doctor? Probably not a lot. Is he going to take his medicine? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, do you think he's going to come back to me? Okay. Now, supposing I'm a genius doctor. Okay, I, I am the I'm the god of doctoring. Okay, I knew exactly by looking at him and from what the nurse, was, you know, the vital signs and so forth, the nurse took. I knew exactly what's wrong with him. Totally knew, completely. I mean, like, not even a question. Does it matter? Because. What? Doesn't feel like that to him, right? Let me ask Jason to come out here. And let's do that just a little bit differently. And let's see how that experience changes. Jason, how you doing, man? I don't feel good, doctor. You don't? What's going on? Uh, headache, sore throat, green stuff. Mm. Green stuff where, exactly? Um, <laughs> here. Here, nose, mouth, it's not good. 
Not good. Okay, so how's, how's Pam? Oh, she's good. Okay. She's not and, sick. And she's not sick? And, no. And the kids are not sick either? No, thanks. Okay, it's just you. Yeah. So far. Right. Okay, so we got to nip that in the bud and make sure that we don't, you know, pass that on. How long has this been going on? A couple days. Okay, so let me just, you know, when I, when I just press here, is that, does that hurt? Is that? Well, that's where it hurts, that's yeah. That's tender, okay? Yeah. But how about down in here? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, okay, and how about back here? Is this? No, not as much in the there? back. No. Nothing there? No. no. Up here? A little, I mean, it's A little stuff. bit there. So yeah. you got, okay, that's, uh, all right. And so I had a nurse took your vital signs. Let me, can I yeah. just take a listen here and let me just, oh, yeah. you know, just let me go ahead and just cough. Just turn oh. your head that way and just, <coughs> okay. Yeah, just one more time. <coughs> Okay, let me just get, okay, okay. okay. and again, okay, one more time, okay, yeah, okay, well, your lungs are clear, that's good, that's yeah. good news, so I think we, we caught it early, okay, here's what I'd like you to do, I, I, there's a lot of this going around, we got a brand new drug that I just got that I'd like you to try, okay, it's designed specifically for this sinus infection that you've got, and in about three days, it should be all cleared up. You know, okay. Go ahead and take those. What else can I do for you while you're here today? I think that's it. Thanks, doctor. Okay. Awesome. Nice to see you. Thank you. Okay, kiss the kids for me. All right. Okay. Now.